and then lastly division. We teach uh, children division means two different things. It means grouping and sharing. Sharing, they get really quickly. They know sharing because they know when things are shared out not fairly. That's not fair, that's not fair. So they understand sharing because they do sharing with their friends and they know if it's fair or not. So if I've got 12 shared between three, I'm sharing it out between three. So like any other operation, we start by doing it practically. We start this in key stage one. Get a laugh. So I've got 12, I've shared it between three. How many has each got? I've got four. Okay. So loads and loads of practical work just like the other operations, so they really have an understanding of what it actually means. It's not just a picture on the paper, dot, line, dot, it actually means something. We talk about grouping as well. Grouping is different. Grouping, if I'm doing 12 divided by 3 with grouping, it means I've got groups of 3. I've got a 3 there, I've got a 3 there, I've got a 3 there, and I've got a three there. How many groups have I got? I've got four groups. Share, uh, grouping they don't find quite as easy as sharing. Sharing they find um, much easier. But grouping is the key one because that's what they use when they go on to deal with bigger numbers. They use grouping. Because we say to them, if you've got 163 divided by 18, you can't share out 163. You can't do that which is why we do grouping, and they soon see that. So this is how we'd group on a number line. We've got 12, we've got to divide it by 3. I've got there a 3. There's my group of 3. I've got another group of 3, that takes me to 6. I've got another group of 3, that takes me to 9. I've got another group of three that takes me to 12. How many groups have I got? I've got four groups. And again, this is why we do loads of counting. Three, six, nine, twelve. We also make like to, the children to make the link between their multiplication tables and dividing so they know, oh hang on, we've been talking about grouping groups of in multiplication in tables. I know four dots of three is twelve. I know that because I've been learning my tables. I know four groups of three as well. Therefore, I know twelve divided into threes is four. And again, some children really see that and go with it, and some children find that a little bit harder. They need the images, they need the counters, they need the patterns, they need to look at the arrays. Then once we've really got grouping, we go back to our lovely number line that we use. So... So we, we've got 32 here, divided by 4, so I'm going to put it into groups of 4, we've got a 4, another 4, another 4, another 4. We do make it clear to the children, actually, it doesn't matter how big the jumps are, it's the important thing is the number. Um, how many fours have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight. Some children, they might love their four times table, and so they can do that a bit quicker. They might do my zero, got my 32. I know that five, lots of four, are twenty. I've already got five fours there, and now I can count on another fours. There's a four, takes me to twenty-four, a four that takes me to twenty-eight, and another four. Okay, so I've got five, six, seven, eight fours. Some children might see here, hang on, the difference between twenty and thirty-two is twelve. That's the difference of 12, and I know that is three lots of four. Three and five is eight groups of four. Again, all children's brains work differently. 
they will all do that in a different way. If you were to give a whole class that, they'd all do it differently. Remainders, exactly the same way. We've got 34. My groups are four. Again, I know I've got five groups of four. Oh no, because I love my two times table. I've got two lots of four there, taking me to 28. I've got another four there, taking me to 32. Hang on, I can't fit in another group of four. So I do 33, 34. We've got crosses on the number line for our remainders. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, remainder two. Okay, so that's how we do our division with remainders. And that to me makes sense because when I was learning division when I was young, I had the um, old, um, four, what we call the bus stop, 34. And that made no sense to me. And also, if I'm doing this this way, this makes, I can't do it because I was taught how many fours are in three. Well, there's no fours in three. So I don't know what to do there. And if it was a bigger number, I had an R here, and I put a number here. I don't understand how this related to this. So doing it on the number line really shows the children what division is. Again, it's the understanding. <laughs> We've got a hun um, three digit numbers. It's exactly the same, but hopefully they're getting really good at their tables now. So they could do a jump of... 10, lots of 7, and then another 10, lots of 7. So they know they've got 20, lots of 7, they'll take me to 140. I've got a difference there. Oh, look, lovely. I've got a difference of 56 there. I know my tables, so I know 8 sevens are 56. So I know 10, 28. Okay, and that's a really able year 4 child doing that seeing those links. Some of them might do 7, 14, but we'd hope that they could all do this because they know their 10s really well. It's when they get to this part they might need to jump in 7s.